the chapters on the way to the beyond parayana vag introductory verses desiring the state of nothingness a draft in mast of the hymns went from the delightful city of the kosalans to a region in the south in the domain of asaka in the neighborhood of alaka he lived on the bank of the godavari river by means of gleaning and fruit Situated nearby there was a large village with the revenues that arose from it he held a grand sacrifice having completed the grand sacrifice he again entered the hermitage when he had re-entered another brahmin arrived he had kalu's feet he was thirsty he had dirty teeth and a dusty head having approached his host the visitor asked for 500 coins having behind him bhav invited him to a seat he asked about his happiness and health and spoke this statement whatever wealth i had to give away i have disposed of it all believe me brahmin i don't have 500 coins when i am making this request if you don't present it to me on the seventh day from now may your head split into seven parts Having put on a performance that Charlton uttered a fearsome curse having heard his statement Bavari was despondent not eating he became emaciated stricken by the dart of sorrow then in such a state of mind he did not delight in meditation having seen him terrified and despondent a deity who desired his good approached Bavari and uttered this statement A child and who desires wealth does not understand the head he has no knowledge at all about the head or head splitting if you know worthy one please inform me when you are asked about the head and head splitting let us hear that word of yours i too do not know this matter i have no knowledge at all of it for the head and head splitting this is what the conquerors have seen then on this circle of the earth who knows about the head and head splitting tell me this o deity earlier already the world leader a descendant of king okaku a sakin son the master of light went forth from kapilavattu he brahmin is the enlightened one who has gone beyond all phenomena who has attained all super knowledge and power the one with vision into all phenomena having attained the destruction of all karma he is liberated in the extinction of acquisitions the buddha the blessed one in the world the one with vision teaches the dhamma go to him and ask him your question he will explain that matter to you having heard the word enlightened one bhavari was elated his sorrow diminished and he gained abundant rapture delighted elated exhilarated bhavari asked the deity in what village or town or in what country does the world protected dwell where we might go and pay homage to the enlightened one the best of bipeds the konkoro is in savatthi in the realm of kosala that dwells the one of abundant wisdom of excellent vast intelligence a sakin zan and revealed free of influxes full of men is one who understands head splitting he then addressed his pupils brahmins who had mastered the hymns come brahmin students i'll speak listen to this word of mine now there has arisen in the world of famed as enlightened one one whose manifestation in the world is rarely encountered go quickly to savatthi and see the best of bipeds when we see him brahmin how might we know that he is the buddha since we don't know tell us how we might recognize him the characteristics of a great man have come down in the hymns the two such marks are explained complete in their sequence for one whose body has these characteristics of great man there are only two destinations for a third does not exist if he dwells at home having conquered this earth without violence without a weapon he rules over it righteously 
What if we should go forth from home to homelessness? He becomes a Buddha with coverings removed and unsurpassed Arahant. Ask him so only with your mind about my birth, clan, characteristics, hymns and pupils and ask further about the head and head splitting. If he is a Buddha, one of unstructured vision, you reply verbally to the questions asked by the mind. Having heard the word of Bhavavi, the sixteen Brahman pupils, Ajita, Tismeteya, Punnaka and Metagu, Dotaka and Upasiva, Nanda and Hemaka, the pair of Todeya and Kappa, and the wise Jatukanni, Bharadvaja and Udaya, and the Brahman Pozala, the intelligent Mok Raja, and the great Rishi Pingiya, all leaders of their own groups, Fame throughout the whole world, meditators who delights in jhanas, who has formed fast habitual formations, pays homage to Bhavari, and having circumambulated to him, all with matted looks, wearing hides, they set out towards the north, to Patitano of Alaka, then to the former Mahisati, to Ojeni and Gonadda, Vidisa and Vanasa. To Kozambi and Saketa, the supreme city Sawati, Setave and Kapilavattu, and the city Kuzinara. On to Pawa and Boga city, to Vezali, to the Magadan city Rajagaha, and to the Pasana Chetia, delightful and charming. As a thirsty person seeks cool water, as a merchant seeks great profit, or one oppressed by heat seeks shade. They harshly climbed the mountain. On that occasion, the Blessed One in front of the Sangha of Bhikkhus was teaching the Dhamma to the Bhikkhus like a lion that roars in the woods. At it so the Buddha, like the glorious sun with hundred rays, like the moon on the fifteenth of the fortnight when it has arrived at fullness. Then having seen his body and his features complete, he stood to one side, trailed, and asked the questions mentally. Speak with reference to his birth, tell his clan and his characteristics, tell his perfection in the hymns, how many pupils does the Brahmin teach. His age is 120 years, and by clan he is a Bhavari. There are three characteristics on his body. He is a master of the three Vedas. Of the characteristics and his stories, Along with the lexicon and rules of rituals, he teaches 500 pupils. He has reached perfection in his own teaching. O oh, Supreme Man, reveal in detail the characteristics of power. O oh, you who have cut off craving, don't let doubt remain in us. He can cover his face with his tongue. He has a tuft of hair between his eyebrows. His male organ is enclosed in a shelf. Know this, Brahmin student. Having heard the questions answered without having heard anything being asked, accelerated, making salutations, all the people wondered. Was it a Deva or Brahma, or even Indra, the husband of Suja, who asked those questions with the mind? To whom did he reply? Bhavi asked about the head and the splitting of the head. Explain this, blessed one. Remove our doubt. Or Vishi. No ignorance to be the head. Clear knowledge is head spreading. When conjoined with faith, mindfulness, concentration, desire, and energy. Thereupon the Brahmin student, uplifted by the grace acceleration, arranged his cloak over one shoulder and fell with his head at the Buddha's feet. The Brahmin Bhavri, dear sir, together with his pupils, excellent in mind, joyful, Worship your feet, one with vision. May the Brahmin Bhavari be happy together with his pupils. May you too be happy. May you live long, Brahmin student. Whatever doubt Bhavari has and you or all the others, you are given permissions. So ask whatever you wish in your mind. Given permission by the Buddha, Ajita sat down and making salutation, he there asked Tathagata the very first question.